Well, today marks the 55th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising. The visitor center opened at the monument where police raid, the police raid became a landmark moment for the LGBTQ plus rights movement. WGN Shannon Halligan has more on how President Biden helped unveil that new center. Even before the debate, the president tried to boost support within the Democratic-leaning gay community. Ahead of New York and Chicago's Pride Parade this weekend, he marked the historic day today. President Joe Biden courted LGBTQ plus voters at New York events Friday. That included the inauguration of a visitor center at the Stonewall National Monument. This beloved bar became the site of a call to cry for freedom, dignity and equality, respect. Rebellion that galvanized, galvanized the LBGTQ plus community all across the nation and quite frankly around the world. When officers showed up at the Stonewall Inn, a gay dive bar in New York City 55 years earlier, it set off nights of protests and riots. Part of the bar is now a visitor center that will tell the story of the Stonewall Rebellion. Today, I'm proud to unveil a new visitor center for Stonewall National Monument the first ever LGBTQ plus visitor center in the national parks in America. And this monument and visitor center tell a story that we all need to know, no matter who we are. It teaches us the power of hope and persistence. President Biden and the First Lady were joined by pop legend Elton John, who rallied support for the president and against discrimination that he said threatens the lives of LGBTQ plus members. Today, too, we face one of those seminal moments. Do we stand up for our vision and our values, or let misinformation and senseless scapegoating turn back the clock? No way. The president didn't mention the debate during the event on Friday. He did call to the stage Democratic New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, who declared, quote, he's a fighter. In the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.